Russian bomber pilots fear being shot down in the Black Sea, so they hastily direct their missiles at false targets and leave the area. The UK Ministry of Defence reported that a similar incident occurred with the Aya merchant ship, which was hit by a missile in the Black Sea on September the 11th. On that day, the ship was sailing from Odessa to Egypt, loaded with 26,000 tonnes of grain. It was almost certainly an KH-22 anti-ship missile launched by a Russian Tu-22M3 bomber that was operating in the area at the time, the UK Ministry of Defence said. It is likely that the absence of detonation prevented catastrophic damage. It is unlikely that the Aya vessel was the target of the strike and was probably hit due to poor targeting procedures by Russian pilots using an outdated munition, the statement said. Russia has regularly attacked targets along Ukraine's Black Sea coast, including Zeminyi Island, in an effort to disrupt export activities and weaken any military forces in the area. According to British intelligence, after the loss of a Tu-22M3 in April, Russia has become more cautious in its strike operations in the Black Sea. It is noted that this was a joint operation of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine with the Ukrainian Air Force. The Russian Tu-22M3 bomber was shot down at a distance of about 300 kilometers from Ukraine using the same means that had previously hit the Russian A-50 airborne early warning and control aircraft. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said, it is possible that this incident occurred because the pilots hastily misidentified the Aya ship as their target, wanting to leave the area immediately after launching for fear of being attacked by a Ukrainian anti-aircraft missile. The KH-22 missile has consistently failed to fulfill its mission in the war. Launching a supersonic cruise missile on the wrong course from a likely false target in international waters demonstrates extremely poor and irresponsible aviation practice, the UK Ministry of Defence stated. Militani previously reported that on the night of August the 31st to September the 1st, Russians fired Iskander missiles at farm equipment that was passed off as a military convoy. The convoy of farmers was on the Sumi Kharkiv Highway near the village of Verknia Sirovatka Sumi district. As a result, one truck was on fire and about 20 vehicles were damaged. Spain's defense ministry said Thursday its first of two planes sent to Beirut to evacuate Spanish civilians had taken off and was heading to an airbase near Madrid. The military plane is carrying some 200 evacuees on board, the ministry said. Spanish Defense Minister Margarita Robles said that between 400 and 500 of the around 1,000 Spaniards registered as living in Lebanon could be airlifted out. The government has urged all Spaniards to leave and is offering to assist those who say they want to be evacuated. A second military plane is expected to leave Lebanon later on Thursday. Robles said that a third plane could be sent if needed. Spain also has 676 soldiers in Lebanon deployed under a United Nations peacekeeping mission. Robles said that the troops are staying put until otherwise ordered by UN command.